क्लास नहीं कर रहा ठीक है ठीक है और वीडियो मंगा दो हां मैं तो कम यूज कर दूंगा इसको इसका इसको दो मिनट ना एक ही नहीं है इसको कम से कम कर दो so very good afternoon all the team and principals of different school of sahodaya school six mm-hmm. on behalf of parsnath sahodaya sab ko dikhao i welcome everyone on this sixth day of the sahodaya webinar under the aegis of PSC CEO in Patna. On this platform, I I wish to share few important notices because it is uh, regarding the in-service teacher training program, which was uh, given by CBSC CEO in Patna. That. Uh, Every teacher of every must have must complete twenty five hours of in house and twenty five hours of uh, the training program given by COE Patna. And uh, yesterday we had a meeting with uh, uh, the. Uh, regional training coordinator of cbsc dr akhilesh with all the district training coordinators of jharkhand and bihar and uh, regarding giridi he specially told that uh, the target hours of giridi is very low it is Uh, till now the, the almost uh, october month is going to be over and we have completed only 542 hours which is much much below than the expected hours uh, of the in service training program by cbsc only 4.5% of the target has been achieved till now so uh, this was a serious note taken by cbsc and uh, it was instructed to all the schools to complete the training program uh, as soon as possible and meet the requirement of hours it has already been given by uh, different letters of cbsc and was also duly circulated in the sahodaya group and we very promptly whatever letter or direction from cbsc coe patna almost on the same day we post in the whatsapp group so that our fellow colleagues and uh, the teachers of different school they get acquainted with those uh, latest uh, information from coe patna who can register themselves uh, immediately for those programs so please ensure that whatever training program links are available now uh, we should register ourselves and complete it so that every teacher must complete 25 hours of cbsc coe patna training program 
इससे कम्फर्टेबल नहीं है webinar and today topic is very very important it is component of lesson plan my dear friend it is said that the goal without a plan is just a wish it we do something without planning and we are not knowing in what direction we are going so there is every chance that we will miss the goal so planning is must for every work and same is true for teaching also there karne ke but an hour of planning to save you 10 hours of doing so uh, before going to the classroom we require a lesson plan a properly properly prepared lesson plan that is how fully done a properly designed lesson plan fulfills the need Uh, for the clarity and comprehension regarding how the entire learning process will be handled as well as how the students can understand and store the knowledge that is being passed on them so attending classroom session without a lesson plan is very detrimental to the teachers as well as the students so when a educator is not properly prepared they will create the impression of being unprofessional and incompetent and will not be able to deliver his or her best so to facilitate uh, this need of proper lesson plan and to highlight the different aspects of lesson planning for our proper teaching learning today we we have with us a very experienced and knowledgeable a resource person mr sabana rabani she is a senior most teacher of this school the dev public school system group and the credit to conduct several of mine as well as in seminars of different in novodaya vidyalay and dev cae dev college management committee center of academic excellence in delhi has also designated her as, as a master trainer in english so she has a vast experience of teaching and has got a lot of experience of uh, such training program for teachers so i heartily welcome her and we wish that we will learn many more things rather we will uh, we learn many aspects of lesson planning and thereby we will be able to implement it in a better way in the classroom so i once again welcome you madam so now the thank you sir thank you thank you very much sir though the praise that you have given of course they are much to my height that was not that much needed you deserve it truly I truly believe I am a part of the institution, and wherever we are called, we are ready to give our service. And um, thank you very much for all your praise. And you have rightly stated that learn and relearn. We have learned, we know, but again, it's 
the continuous process is to relearn the things that you have already learned and this is how we come up with this so thanks a lot to you sir riches without charity are nothing worth they are a blessing only to them who makes a blessing to others very true if the teachers have the potential and knowledge and they don't share and impart it to the students with all sincerity it is not worth yes friends it is not worth so a very sparkling and informative afternoon to all a very special address to our president parshnath sahodya schools our very charismatic dr prabir hajra sir vice president mr sanjeev sinha sir and our very own and visionary bhaiya abhinav kumar sir secretary parshnath sahodya schools all the principals of different schools sahodya schools and all my fellow colleagues under the ages of parshnath sahodya cbse coe patna a hearty and warm welcome to each one of you in this webinar on the topic components of lesson plan teachers have three loves my dear friends teachers have three loves love of learning love of learners and the love of bringing the first two loves together that is how we get the things know about it share it with the others and they all come together education is our passport to the future for tomorrow's belongs to the people who prepare for it today a tough time if we want to survive tomorrow we have to prepare for it today itself because tomorrow never comes i too believe i am not a teacher but an awakener as the art of teaching is the art of assisting discovery which has been rightly quoted by mark when dorin indeed teaching is a work of art a work of heart and a work of heart it takes a big heart to shape little minds friends it takes a big heart to shape little minds and we are the ones who make them so heading towards it i proceed ahead with my topic and that is components of lesson plan we all know it's an important part of lesson plan and what are they we are going to know but before that let us know what is a lesson plan ah oh, teachers diary the moment we come to know teachers diary is to be completed all the teachers are panic teachers diary likhna hai we have to fill it we have to complete it oh the month has started is to begin so we have to keep in mind we start thinking the moment we get the teachers diary we start i mean our start mind starts thinking thinking what what a plan to teach a lesson a plan to teach a lesson and that is what is called a lesson plan that is before entering the class every teacher makes the preparation to deliver the lesson or has a well organized plan to achieve the learning objective in fact it is a mind map of teacher to deliver any topic now as i personally feel that the lesson plan is the instruction road map of what students need to learn and how it will be done effectively during the class time class hours so we can say a teacher's detailed description of the course of instruction for an individual lesson is said to be a lesson plan or a lesson plan is written guide 
for tra trainers' plans in order to achieve the intended learning outcomes. <clears throat> it provides specific definition and direction on learning objectives, equipment, instructional media material, requirements, and conduct of the training. Now, think, think, what is the purpose of a lesson plan? We have to realize it out first. What is the purpose? And the very purpose of it is better training for students, produce better thinking level, save time, better learning, good organization, and of course, easy management. So we see its purpose is to communicate to, communicate to, to you, you to the students. Communicate to whom? You to the students. Well, we, had, we have the main features of a lesson plan. The very concept is have to be made out in our mind and then we start writing them out. So content, second is goals, third is learning objectives and outcomes, fourth is procedure methods, fifth is unit development, sixth, check for understanding, seventh is recapitulation, eighth is reflection. So all these features are necessary for a lesson plan. Now, think what comes, hmm, what comes, uh, what to consider when writing a lesson plan. You see, we start, our minds start boggling, what to do, what to write, oh, think about the story. Yeah? So lots of questions, lots of things keep on going in our mind to decide to write a lesson plan. We have to recollect the story. What is that? What is the intent, uh, intention of the poet or the author? What is the method to be applied? Have to keep everything in mind regarding the students. So you start think, uh, thinking about it. So what to consider when writing a lesson plan? It's know your students. The first thing is important for all the teachers to know your students. And all the details I'll be uh, uh, reading out in the next slide. And the second is know the content, the subject matter. And the third is know the instructional materials. All right. So we see that the teacher must be able to judge out the ability and interest levels. I mean, you have to know these students before you start teaching. You have, you have to know that what type of children you have in that classroom, particular classroom where you're going to teach. These days, we don't say anybody slow learners. They are late bloomers, we call them. All right? So we have to plan it out that way. If we know that this, uh, this is class comprises of more of the, I mean, um, uh, late bloomers, then we have to plan it out. We have to plan it out in segments. You have to consider the background that they come from, the students, what background they are coming from. Then what is their attention span? And then when we give them the work, what is their ability to work together in groups? Maybe a big group or a small group. All right. Then before that, what prior knowledge and learning experiences does the child have? We can also recollect if this chapter, we can quote this chapter with the other chapter that we have ta uh, taught the students the other day. And then we can know that uh, uh, that by asking a few questions to those late bloomers, and they would be, if they give the answer, the way they give the answer makes it very clear to you that you are able uh, you, that is to say that you are able to judge out what prior knowledge the child has with that previous experience. Special needs or accommodations, of course, this is what uh, I said, late bloomers, no slow learners or backbenchers, late bloomers. They bloom up late. 
They are sleeping beauties of the class, we can say. And at times they wake up and then they realize suddenly something has happened. Oh, I, we need to concentrate. So the late bloomers of the class. And then learning preferences. Like uh, different students have different tastes. So, so we have to see that also which learning, which type or what type of learning do they prefer to, all right, to cater to. <laughs> okay. Now, moving ahead again. The school teachers must know the content. It's necessary for the teachers to know every content in detail, like the subject matter that you will be teaching in the class, then about the state school district curriculum guides, what it provides, what it says, then about the national state curriculum standards. So we have to be, this is particularly for the teachers to have the knowledge about the content that they are going to, all right, with, uh, wherever they are teaching. I'm sorry, oh, it should go back. Then comes the technology. All right. It's know the material. So that is technology, software, audiovisuals, teacher mentors, community resources, equipment, library resources. Each school has a library. Students are taken there and they are given. Then now these days we are having e-library also. The students... Uh, they can um, join the e-library, okay? And then local okay. So local guest speakers, you can invite local speakers to come up and then they would be able to, all right? speak on something and then this is how you can draw the attention of each and every child on everything that we want to have fruitful before us. Now I will present a template before you which will help you. This is the template, a small one, a good one, a detailed one is there yet in the video form which I'll be showing it to you. It's just uh, specific lesson plans or the topics are to be prepared by the teachers. These plan may have the following parts, name of the teacher, class, specific learning outcomes, students will be able to, their concept, then skill, applying, analyzing, evaluating, creating, then facts, recall, remember, then value, that is relates, whether it relates with life, the life skill, infusion of life skills, values, gender sensitivity, vocabulary, etc. All right. So um, other, I'm again to come up. And now, friends, here I would present a starter activity or the warm-up or the energizer. All right. Just view out, enjoy, and try to employ this in your class. Now, why I'm stating, uh, putting it here is just to energize you all. You must be getting bored listening what is lesson plan and all. So now see how it is to be done. How This is how we have to go to the class and energize the students before we start teaching them. So here comes a video. Twinkle, twinkle, 
So we see this was the starter activity or energizer just to draw the attention of the students in the class, which is very, very essential. It is generally done in the beginning, but what I feel at times when we see that the things are in progress, when we uh, the teaching is in progress, we find that the attention span of the children, which varies, uh, uh, that uh, they are not paying attention to what the teachers are teaching in the class. There also you can pick up a very small, I um, mean, just one, uh, one minute um, in activity. All right, sit. All right, stand. All right, laugh. All right, uh, 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 turn around. So if just for one minute we start doing it, we'll find that the uh, students who have not, uh, who are not concerned, who are not concentrating on what the teachers are saying, they would again, Come, become lively, all right? They would again come back to the point. What happened? What is that going on? And then when they are fresh enough, they can away. They will again start listening to the teacher as to what they are saying. If you remember 11, 12 uh, 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 teachers, you remember M. Hamel's friends. What was that? Seeing everything very unique, he was surprised and he was quiet. He was listening to what Mr. Hamill was saying in the class and he found that he was able to understand each and every word that he was saying. So some, some deviation attracts the attention. So if we find that the class becomes clumsy or, or not paying attention, we can just start up with one such one minute activity and then come back to the session again. Okay. I mean, I at times do it when I really feel that the children are not, I mean, concentrating. So moving ahead. Now it's key components of a lesson plan. All right. It's what are they? They are profile, objectives, material equipments, procedure, assessment. Okay. Now the key component, uh, the basic information about the lesson profile is what they give the basic 
information about the lesson. What is that? Le name of the lesson, the contributor, the subject, the grade level, instructional settings, small group, whole group, whole class. All right. So whatever is decided by the teacher, this is how, I mean, it all depends on the subject that the teachers are taking up. Uh, like in English, we can go for, uh, if there's a drama to be dramatized, we can take small group, uh, big group, and the whole class. All right. It's similarly, uh, the science sections, they have their uh, uh, practicals there also. They can divide the group into two, three, and give two, three activities at a time to be done. I mean, it's all the instructional setting that is the profile that they design out. Then comes the general description of the lesson and, of course, the standards. All right. It's all about identifying the ability. Now, the objective the, uh, is to determine what you want students to learn and be able to do. The objective of the teacher is to determine what you want the students to learn and be able to do. So uh, we can have uh, uh, two, three uh, such questions I um, mean, in, uh, in various forms, some difficult, some extrapolatory, something like that, which we can be able to attract the students. The good ones, of course, can do the tougher, tough questions. For the week, uh, the um, I mean, late bloomers also, sh we should plan out some uh, such easy questions so that they also feel comfortable. See, friends, every now and then we have to pat them. We have to be very, very positive and we have to pat them and get the work done. Gone are those days which we had faced. All right. So, and the other is the focus on the concept or skill which you intend to teach, or maybe that uh, the organize example, like you organize a thing, then design and prototype content, rich websites that they are easy to navigate and search, Google search, and all that. I mean, all these reference materials uh, that you take from the websites. All right and some projects, etc., that would be of great help. Now, the very uh, objective and goal um, that has to be cleared out is that the lesson must be clearly defined and in line with district and or state educational standards. Please keep these in your mind. And the reason for setting objectives and goal is to make sure you know what you are trying to accomplish within the lesson. It has to be already um, planned in your backdrop, mind backdrop. Now, this helps you determine what the students take away from the lesson and how you will go about ensuring that they are successful in mastering the material at hand. And an example is also um, stated here. For example, uh, maybe this is a science teacher who, who is teaching about the digestion, all right? So the goal of a lesson about digestion might be for students to be able to identify the body parts related to the digestion process, as well as understand how the food that they eat is turned into energy. So we have to see that at the end, what we have been trying to instill in the children, make them learn whether it is clear or not, whether they have been able to know that how that food that they take in, which undergoes the I mean, digestion process, turns into energy. All right? Yes. Think. If a child can't learn the way we teach, maybe we should teach the way they learn. Do you all agree with it or not? I think all of you must agree. The very thing that if a child can't learn the way we teach, if the child is not able to learn the way we are teaching, what is the responsibility of the teacher? It is that they should teach the way they learn. It is with this that uh, the fun way method of teaching came up in junior classes. Fun way. Right? What? Playing and then teaching them. Lots of toys are there and then they are given that you count the numbers. 
All right, see how many apples are there? How many flowers are there? So earlier it was all drawn on the board. Now what do we do? It's full of activity. The teachers they make flowers, they make a different uh, small toys, and they keep it. And then they ask the students, "All right, how many are these? How many flowers are there? How many frogs are there, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. So you see, this is how we have to, I mean, uh, adopt a teaching process which is convenient to them. Our days have passed. we have to go with their desire with their learning process and we have to face this transformation <laughs> and for this achieving types of instructional materials are required as i told you that you will have to make something on your own buy it from the market have it here i mean um, ask the students all right you will bring each one of you will bring some potatoes and some uh, lady fingers and all and then we'll have that vegetable show in the class and then we'll make them uh, learn the names of the vegetables as well as the counting as well as the color tomato red in color uh, lady finger green in color all right so uh, brinjal uh, purple in color so this we see that we integrated this is how the uh, art integrated teaching is also uh, been added by the national education policy you see so all the things will go together all right and of course uh, during this uh, pandemic time we have seen uh, that how things have gone and we have become quite um, exposed to the technology the materials that is required uh, for such teachings all right for lower classes we i told you you can ask the children to come but for senior classes what is that the materials that we need is all the technology all right so and um, of course as far as i'm concerned friends i'm still not very sad. i mean uh, techno savvy i still uh, face lot of problem but then better than the earlier i find myself better than earlier all right so the things that is powerpoint presentations the visual aids then the textbooks are there then the, the journal articles could be included multimedia materials instructional video or audio um then job aids then rubrics and then checklist marking and all so these are the materials that are there now the equipment available for the instruction friends technology will not replace great teachers mind it technology will not replace great teachers but technology in the hands of great teachers can be transformal can be transformal mind the words technology in the hands of great teachers can be transformal if you just go back and see the histories of these great scholars what have they done they have brought about great transformation <coughs> excuse me so the right use of technology be transformed and during this pandemic we see how it was of great help to all of us it was of great use now some commonly used instructional equipments are the software appliances powerpoint media player all right um, computer equipment uh computer internet connection video equipment projector so we uh, earlier to this covid we used to see uh, yeah there are certain things in computer like uh, internet connection and all but now when the time change and we are giving or imparting the online teaching to the students we have come to realize the real value or the importance of the internet connection so time is the great master which is teaching us all so many things now uh, the procedure um, is outlining the steps of the teaching process you that is uh, the use of uh, instructional strategies using the appropriate technique in your lesson plan it's very important to use the uh, appropriate technique when you are planning your uh, lesson now 
some instructional strategies. Now, this section explicitly delineates how will you present the lessons concept to your students. Teachers should use a variety of instructional strategies suited to the class and to individual students and their learning styles and individual needs. Once again, I think I've already talked about it earlier. So we can just quote together. And they are lectures, the verbal explanations that the teachers give in the class, right? Demonstrates the way the teachers take you, the students to the lab and then the models that they make and, um, and all. So they are all demonstrated well. Use of audio visual presentation. The smart classes have all these facilities. Then hands-on activities, which is done in the class. And what some others are. All right. Now, think, analyze, evaluate, access. Sorry, access. So comes the, we have thought, we have analyzed also. Now the evaluation and the assessment, all right? So the assessment activities available for the instructors are that they must be able to assess the outcome and to what extent the objectives were achieved, all right? The assessment is to be done to see that what they wanted to give to the children, they have been able to get that, whether it has been achieved by them or not, whether their objectives have been fulfilled or not. Then ensure the assessment activities directly and explicitly tied to the stated objectives. Then take time to reflect upon the results and revise the lesson plan accordingly. All right. Now, some components that can be, uh, some sorry, some activities that can be commonly used for assessment and all, uh, just to make a class very lively also, we can have quizzes. The test is a very common one which you often take, all right? Sometimes oral, sometimes uh, written. But quiz sometimes is uh, uh, very alluring. It attracts the attention of the uh, children. Independently performed worksheets, giving them some task. All right, do it. Write a paragraph, like 10 lines, like two, five lines. And then, then cooperative learning activities, making them go in a group. All right, cooperate each other, think about it, and then come out with a solution. All right. Oral discussion, holding some debates. Uh, some paragraph to be um, presented by some students on their own. All right. Then question and answer session. So these are a few of the varieties of assessment that could be done easily and which we, many of them, we are doing it also. Uh, so we, teach, uh, we as teachers know about it. Now the follow up. The lesson does not end after your students complete, uh, I mean, a worksheet. The assessment section is one of the most important parts of any, any lesson plan, friends. This is where you assess the final outcome of the lesson and to what extent the learning objectives were achieved. That's what I discussed earlier also. So this is very important. My chapter is finished. Fine. My, my course is complete. No, not now. The follow-up session is very important. Next day, ask them, just read the chapters and come. We'll have some oral discussion on it. And we'll see how the students are able to respond, how many of them are taking interest. So this follow-up session is very, very important. In most classes, the assessment will come in the form of a test or quiz. But assessments can also include in-depth class discussions or presentation. Sometimes there are students who come out wonderfully with their own notions, with their own ideas. All right, children, tomorrow this, this, there would be some discussion and some of you can even make some presentation. And when we see them, the innovativeness that they come up with is really, really, I mean, um, beautiful. Thanks to those minds who keep on engaging themselves in such things. Again, Often understand, assessment, often understand as grading, allocating marks at the end of the lesson. Rarely understood that it is vital for every class. Friends, we do it. 
but we have to see that it is how important it is how vital it is we have to see that it is rarely understood that it is vital for every class every class even your ma your ma class that is done or write some questions ah it's that is not very important so we can go. no everything that is being taught in the school we know that it has been designed to cater to the needs of the students so if we miss it out of course there would be a failure so assessment has to be a continuous proper process to identify what and how the students are learning struggling students and focus on them feedback on pace of instruction so there are students as i told you the late bloomers they are there and we have to focus on these students try to get their feedback and then we have to decide our own pace of instruction how to make them learn to come up to the level then of course use appropriate method or uh, method of assessment here we see and here goes excellent so take time to reflect upon the result and revise the lesson and plan accordingly all right so once again friends now now friends i'm sharing a musical lesson plan to lessen up your stress so enjoy the musical sorry so enjoy the music together with viewing the lesson plan so this is a lesson plan on a topic from standard 12 a poem a thing of beauty the poem is john keats <laughs> see the lesson planning that has been done now general objectives to read the given poem and to learn to appreciate enjoy it to develop the reading and comprehension skill of a poem special aims and objectives a thing of beauty is a constant source of joy beauty is an eternal truth one should learn to understand the importance of nature to acquaint the students about the poet john keats in a brief manner british romantic poet although trained to be a surgeon he decided to devote himself completely to the poetry he delights his readers through the gift of his language he sees beauty in everything and he writes this poem a thing of beauty so together you have got the music to relax yourself just go or 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 slide to I'm sorry, there's some uh, problem. The full thing is not coming up. I'm sorry, uh, friends. Um, due to some technical thing the whole thing is not coming up uh, but uh, that was a uh, very sorry it's not coming up so the whole thing is not coming up anyhow i proceeded i'm really sorry it was all a beautiful lesson plan up to the end uh, which i think i'll share it in the chat box or i'll maybe send it to the schools that will help you all now some other thing that i have also taken up 
uh, steps for effective lesson planning goals what do you want students to be able to do know or understand by the end of the lesson actions how are you going to break down the substance of the lesson to help students reach the goal third demonstrate learning how will you and your students would be able to achieve the goal and then environment what do you physically need to do to facilitate the learning and now here we have goal what was the goal is to cater for memorable birthday party the objective here is sandwiches for 20 party people that everyone can enjoy so a goal has been decided that we, they will be celebrating a birthday party how many people are coming to that party 20 so how many sandwiches are to be delivered 20 and what is the outcome of such a party happy memories full stomachs all right so see you see the goal sets broad direction to achieve an outcome head here outcome benefit gained from achieving a goal arrive here objective makes goal specific measurable and time bound deliverable that is define outputs that may achieve an objective or a goal <laughs> other ahead i have some other characteristics and descriptions that could be um, so i just sorted it out to add so that it makes things more clear all right so clearly stated tasks the characteristics are clearly stated tasks and then the description so if you are uh, stating a task what all it should have is it should be free from jargon and complex vocabulary describe specific and achievable tasks it should not be difficult for all the students such as describe analyze or evaluate not vague task like appreciate understand or explore important learning goals describe the essential rather than trivial learning in the course which a student must achieve then achievable can be achieved within the given period and sufficient resources are available all right next is demonstrable and measurable it can be demonstrated in a tangible way easy way they are accessible they uh, the achievement and quality of the achievement can be observed so that can be measured out fair and equitable all students including those with disabilities or constraints have a fair chance of achieving them mind it fair and equitable so the planning has to be done keeping every one in mind like all students in closing including those with disabilities or constraints or the late bloomers they have a fair chance of achieving them as well now linked to course and program objectives so whatever you have decided is quite linked to the course and then at the end your objective is fulfilled so consider the broader goals that is course program and institutional goals now we see the difference between objectives and outcomes all right objectives are intended results or consequences of instruction curricula programs or activities outcomes are achieved results or consequences of what was learned that is evidence that learning took place now we come towards the part where we should know whether your lesson plan is correct complete or not and what is that it must answer your three questions all right where are my students going that is your objective how are they going to get there that is your activities and teaching method and strategies and the third and final one is assessment how will i know when they have arrived so You must keep this in mind that when you complete your lesson plan you see that you get the answer of these three questions 
Of course, there can be various uh, ways of writing your lesson plan. I'm really sorry that I missed that. It's not coming up. It was a very good plan that I had taken out for you and designed it out for you. But uh, it's my bad luck for friends. And now we see. Excellence in education is when we do everything. Excellence in education is when we do everything that we can to make sure they become everything they can. So I'm an excellent teacher. No, unless and until the things become everything that they we are or the teacher has wanted to. So there lies the excellence. So excellence in education is when we do everything that is possible by each one of us to do, and to make sure that what we have designed of for the these students, these children, they become everything that they can learn about. It has been rightly said by Carol and Tomlinson. It touched my heart and I took it out to present it before you all. So <coughs> friends, with this, I end up my um, presentation. So if you have any questions or queries, suggestions, please come up. Any? Yes, friends, any questions, any suggestions? Most welcome. Waiting for your response. Do you all have any query? Any questions to be asked? Yes. Any questions? Any suggestions, friends? No, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone, for your um, cooperation to be so attentive to listen. So I should say uh -huh. a very big thank you to you all. Oh, thank you, madam. Thank you very much. It was wonderful. Very nice session. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your patient hearing and bearing with me. This is me, Shabana Rabbani, signing off. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Thanks to God even who has helped me out to present it all before you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, you, I would sir. like uh, to request our Honorable Secretary, Sir uh, Bhaiya Abhinav Kumar, Sir, to address the teachers. Thank you. Really, it was a wonderful session. Thank you, Sir. Thank that you very much. Information, many things that we were missing and we got an opportunity to have a live show by such a experienced research person, what exactly the lesson plan is and what are the importance you have really highlighted very well in a very simple way with a lot of demonstration and a uh, lot of visuals. And the way you have presented it, it touched uh, the level of understanding. I wish so. Thank and you, we must uh, be benefited with such a nice presentation. And in this session, in six day, uh, today is the last day of uh, this month webinar series by Sahodaya. So uh, uh, we have completed to some extent the, our in house uh, training session for the month of October. Now we are looking forward for the month of November and December and uh, the detailed planning of next month of a webinar 
uh, will be communicated soon and one more thing that i wish to communicate that uh, because this is a platform of sahodia and by the way it has also been utilized by cbsc for different other activity including national achievement survey so uh, this is just a pre notification about the the national achievement survey activity possibly on 1st of november we will have one uh, important webinar on uh, national achievement survey so with this uh, i once again thank to mrs sabana rabani thank for such so nice. on this relevant topic thank you very much welcome sir thank you very much for your support and your blessings your guidelines that you have given us god bless you as well sir thank you your energy you all have they will definitely motivate the young learners and young teachers thank you sir thank you my pleasure my pleasure thank you sir thank you sir Uh, attendance link and uh, sir attendance link and feedback form is given in the chat box uh, you may fill it and uh, submit it as soon as possible thank you ऐसा टेस्ट भी हम अपने घर में किसी को नहीं भेजे लिंक भी ओके okay.